Hey, welcome to Classic Performance. It is absolutely a beautiful day out today. Not a cloud in the sky, and what better thing to do today than to take the 1956 Packard Patrician out. And what we're gonna do is show you how the torsion ride suspension works, the self-leveling uh, torsion ride suspension. And that is the thing that gives this car the legendary ride. So let's get busy, and we're gonna show you in detail how the system works. So as you may know, if you've seen our other uploads, uh, we have every bit of the documentation and paperwork for this car since new, including the uh, torsion level suspension guide, uh, which gives you a smooth, safe ride that we are soon to be enjoying. And if you look on the inside of this, and we'll go over this in detail and take a look under the car, uh, it does not have coil springs. It does have torsion bars with the torsion key. And, uh, and you can see here in this photograph, the the long bars, the longitudinal bars that go from front to back, which are uh, roughly nine feet long, and then the truck arms and the uh, kingpin uh, steering system here. So we're gonna take a look at this leveling system from underneath the car, but first uh, I wanna show you uh, a demonstration of it working from outside the car. So what gives this car this beautiful floaty ride is the very soft spring rate. And you can see I could just put a little bit of weight on the back end of it. Uh, and the car goes way down. So to have that smooth ride, you need a very soft spring rate. And the problem with that is that as soon as you put some weight on it, the car will go down. And what the torsion leveling suspension does is it has a big motor up there in the gearbox and it turns the torsion bars based on a sensor uh, to adjust the rear as weight's put on it. So I've got the system off right now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and put some weight on the back of the car and we'll just see it operate in, in real time and in action. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of just sit right here on the back of the fender a little bit and see how far down it goes. And you hear that motor running and it's lifting me up to compensate for the additional weight and I'm right back to where I was. Uh, so if you have a couple of big guys in the back, a lot of luggage and uh, this keeps the car from sagging or kind of motorboating uh, on, on acceleration up hills or with a, a, a large load like myself uh, in the back. Now, when I get off the car, you can see how high it sits right here. And there's a seven second delay in this. So we are probably now three or four inches. The compensating motor's running, it's turning the torsion bars and it drops it back down to uh, you know, the appropriate height. And sometimes you just let this settle a little bit, hit one or two bumps, and it is, it is right back to where it was. So that's how the leveling suspension works. We'll kind of give you another angle of it, do the demonstration one more time. So if I just kind of put some weight on the back of it, and then we wait seven seconds, four, five, six, it's seven seconds and I'm not sure how the delay works there's some kind of a delay box in there and there she goes right up to the top so we're leveled out again if you know how the delay box works uh, please leave it in the comments I'm unsure about that and also there's a level uh, a level in there uh, that that tells it what the attitude of the car is now when we take the weight off we go back up and about seven seconds later uh, it's going to drop back down to the right height that it needs to be at. And that's how she works. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this car out on the road, take it to the shop, put it in the air, and show you the components from underneath.
as we make our way over to the shop to put the car in the lift and take a look underneath at the uh, torsion level suspension system, uh, one thing I can tell you is that this does not actively control the ride. If you're familiar with newer cars uh, that have active suspensions that will control the ride as you drive, this is not that system. This is simply a leveling system uh, to compensate for the soft marshmallow-like uh, suspension rates or spring rates in the back, which would be the torsion rates. You know, another advantage of this torsion bar suspension is that it uh, it controls like somewhat like a sway bar. Uh, the car does not lean from side to side in the turns as cars of the day did that had coil springs and leaf springs. Uh, this torsion system really keeps the car planted and gives it good uh, road holding characteristics. Get the Packard in the air here and uh, give you a look underneath and just show you how things work. All right, so we're going to take a look underneath here and show you how the, the torsion bar system works. Uh, kind of a, a, a truck arm right here, and this is going to be kind of hard to see. There's a lot going on under here, but let's go right to the right to the action. Uh, this is the motor and the gearbox right here that uh, turns the uh, and rotates the torsion bar. So you got a, a bar off of here that goes up to this torsion bar, which goes to the back, back here, and that's the uh, that's the, the levelizer bar. And then you got another torsion bar that goes from the front axle or the front uh, control arm. And there's no there's nothing but a shock in here there's no spring so you got this arm that goes to this bar and this bar goes down here past the starter all the way down the same bar it comes through the frame right here and once it comes through the frame uh it goes to another arm right here and this is what uh and, and this is connected to this to this truck arm and you can see i'm right here at the back wheel so this turns up and down like this. So this bar is, I believe, nine feet long, all the way uh, to the front wheel. And it's the same thing on, on the other side. And this car was undercoated from the factory. Uh, so that's what, that's what all this is. Um, and then there's also, uh, along with this, the system here, uh, there's a, a, a level sensor. And I don't know where that is. And if you do, leave it in the, in the comments. And there's also, and this might be it here, um, a seven second delay timer. And I'm not sure how that timer works, but it does. So when you push down on the car, uh, which you've seen, it takes seven seconds before it levels. So that's kind of a, the gist of it. If it makes sense, I'll try to show you again here on the other side. Uh, so right up here is the, the torsion bar. And this torsion bar comes over to an arm right here. Here's my front wheel. Um, so this arm goes up and down. There's nothing but a shock here. There's no coil spring. So this arm tries to rotate this torsion bar. And this torsion bar, of course, comes back all the way down. Keeps coming, keeps coming. This is the bar that goes from the front to the back. This bar here is the levelizer bar, uh, which rotates to adjust the right height in the back. But of course, this bar from the front, the long one, comes all the way back, comes through the frame, all the way to the back, to the back wheel here. And of course, the arm, uh, which twists it, connected to what I call the, the truck arm here, uh, just in front of the rear wheel. I'm going to spin around here uh, and show you the back end of it. As you can see, there's there's no spring here. This is your what I call truck arm, uh, which General Motors was famous for in the 60s pickup trucks and wagons and that sort of thing with a coil spring. Uh, this here is controlled by that by that long torsion bar. So here's your here's your arm. The bar, which goes all the way up here, 
clear up to the very front wheel. So they're connected front to back with those long bars. This also has a very complex exhaust system. Uh, we'll just take a look at that for it real quick. Comes up and around by the rear wheel. Uh, this would usually have a resonator here, but it comes straight back and uh, right out, right out the bumper. And then we'll kind of come on up. Uh, you can see where it it jogs through the frame, comes around this way, goes along the torsion bar, back through the frame, and up. And it's an exhaust manifold. This one over here snakes around back through the frame, comes out the frame, uh, all the way back through the frame, the muffler, and it keeps going up and over the axle. And then here is the exhaust out the other side. We're kind of looking at our starter, I think. So I think this is the Delco Remy. Uh, sure enough, it is. You scrape this undercoating off of there. And uh, there is the there is the, the Delco Remy tag. You know this undercoating is pretty pretty robust, but I was able to scrape a little bit off right here, and uh, you can see the the condition of the frame uh, with its original black paint on it even. So this undercoating did its job. It doesn't look pretty. And it attracts a lot of dirt. Uh, and you can't clean it, but underneath this undercoating, uh, you can see the, the original frame paint right there. So I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of the torsion leveling suspension system and how it works. Uh, I did my best to kind of explain it. I'm not a, I'm not a Packard aficionado uh, or a technician or a mechanic. I've never really worked on these cars uh, back in the day because I just wasn't around then. Uh, so leave something in the comments if you want to add to the discussion or, or post some facts about the, uh, the leveling system. Uh, maybe some things I missed or I explained wrong. Uh, always happy to be corrected and take feedback. So if you like the content, you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, we would appreciate your support to help us do more things like this. And, uh, and this will kind of do it for the, uh, the fourth part of the series on the 1956 Packard Patrician. Take care and have yourself a great day. Thank <laughs> you.